Zach Miller, everybody. Come on. Can we get a little less Marco Rubio, a little more Trump on this mic? Come on, buddy. Let's go. We're not fucking around right here. I want some baritone in this thing, all right? I got a dude with a uh, plaid shirt and a mustache up front that looks like either A, did porn in the 70s, was a professional wrestler in the 80s, or both. I don't know. Nothing worse than an ex-porn star pinning you down for the three count, right? You look great, sir. I want to thank you right up top for wearing your good sandals to the show tonight, okay? All right? Honey? Where's my good flops, all right? This is a Saturday. I don't take you out often, but uh, this is special. All right, cool. And you got an Asian wife, so I know you got good toenails. All right, good call. That's right, baby. Go ahead and don't be stingy on the cuticles, okay? I want you to shine them up nice. Daddy's wearing his flops tonight. I don't want them nasty fungus toes out there, okay? Let's go. Put a little of that gloss on there. A little of that gloss on. Oh, hell yeah, man. You look fucking great. Jesus. What you been doing all day, man? Just fucking uh, sit siphon for gold? What's going on? Goddamn fur trapper. Would you come down here from Canada? Those little tennis rackets on your feet? That's what I like, you know what I mean? Put a man up front. That's what I want to see as soon as I hit the stage. You know what I'm saying? Just bam, right in my eye line. Jake the Snake Roberts, front row. Nice. That's my one request. I tell him before every show, I say, hey, no pussies up front, all right? No pussies up front. I got men up front. They saw you come in, they put you right in the front. Good call, man, you look great. Are you Asian? I apologize. You could be Hawaiian. Asian? All right, so I was correct on that? All right, nice. The last thing I want to do is uh, get my racism wrong. You know what I mean? That's a big deal. There's not much frowned upon in East County, but uh, they do want you to be accurate, all right? Hang on there, Travis. You said chink, and that's a Jap. Now you hang on there, buddy. There's a couple things we will not stand for. Guys, I apologize for those racial slurs. Well, at least I'm not like Zach and just hint to it. I go straight for it, all right? Zach just dances around. I hit you right with it, all right? I go old school. Where are the old people in here tonight? Come on. Woo, you sound sprightly. <laughs> you don't sound quite as old as I, uh, as I assumed you would be. <laughs> nice, man. I like that. Get some old people in here, you know? What's your name, Buford? Mind if I call you Buford? You like that? You ever thought about starting up an automotive parts store? <laughs> Calling it Buford's? Buford's bits and sprockets. What's your name? Steve. Steve? Yeah. Do you have a ponytail? Did you used to have a ponytail? <laughs> Cut it off, pasted it on your face in memory. <laughs> All right, Lupita, I'll make you a deal. I'll cut my, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> right, have you ever seen me do comedy before? And you just stood right in front of me like that? Are you serious? Look what I did to Steve, and he was just sitting there like a normal person. <laughs> Steve was just sitting there like a normal dude, right? Wearing his Kirklands. Those are Kirkland jeans, are they not, Steve? You're goddamn right. Hey, hey, Steve. Yeah, I know a Costco man when I see one. <laughs> Your wife is like, Steve, we have no money. Well, listen, honey, I went down to Costco and bought 500 pairs of jeans, all right? But I still got one pair of flops. <laughs> That's all I need. Give me some Kirklands. Let's go. 500 pairs of jeans and a 6,000 bag of trail mix. Let's go. Look, Kirkland. Oh, man. Your name is Buford Kirkland. Are you ready? I don't want any more of this Steve bullshit. By the way, every porn star in the 70s was named Steve, just so you know. No last name. This is, uh, this is Steve. He's going to be working with you today. Oh, man. 
Every time I look at you, it reminds me of when I was a teenager watching porn and for no reason they would cut to the dude. And I'm like, what? Why? Right? Just a beautiful woman, right? I'm sitting there as a kid. Ah, and then bam, Steve. Ah! Mustache sweating. And then just for no reason, turn to the screen and go. Oh, shit, man. Oh, never masturbate again. Steve, you don't masturbate with flip-flops on, do you? That's dangerous. You can't be masturbating with open-toed shoes, Steve. Huh? Get it all over your toes. I don't know what kind of weird shit you guys are into, but I can't imagine she's happy about having to lick it off. Thank God she doesn't understand a goddamn word of this, am I right, Steve? Otherwise, this would be pretty embarrassing for her. Got a goddamn word of it. How did you not talk to this guy? You guys look perfectly normal. I got this dude who looks weird not standing next to a big blue ox. Steve, I love you, man. I can smell you from here. You're a good man. God damn it. Steve, where are you coming from, Buford Kirkland? San Diego. Coming from San Diego. What part? What's that? Tierra Santa. Tierra Santa. Nice, man, Tierra Santa. What's that like, huh, Steve? What's that, bud? It's a place? You're not too proud of it, are you, Steve? Who else has come from Tierra Santa? Come on, guys. Wow, all right. A couple of Tierra Santas over there? Are you from Tierra Santa? Do you know uh, Steve? Google Tierra Santa. I want to know if a lot of retired porn stars end up in Tierra Santa. Sounds like the kind of place where a porn star would go to relax on his 70s millions, am I right? Is that what happened, Steve? Got into a little bit of trouble? I saw the movie, Boogie Nights, I saw it. Chopped the ponytail, went over to Tierra Santa, staying there until everything cools over, is that right? You live in Tierra Santa? Where is Tierra Santa? Like literally down the street? Oh, well, thanks for making even more effort tonight, Steve. I, mean, I knew you were dangerous, dude, but you walked here in those? Holy shit! I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll stub my toes. <laughs> I was just walking down the fucking uh, 15 freeway in flip-flops. I don't give a shit, dude. I'll stub my toes and just tough it out. Because I'm Steve, man. I've been through worse, dude. I've been through worse. Never got impotent, though. Never got impotent. <laughs> Hell no. Steve stays hard. That was my logo. That was my slogan. SSH. That's what they called me. SSH. Steve stays hard. Don't, don't let the ponytail fool you. My dick never looks like that. My dick never looks like that. Steve stays hard. Poor Steve. <laughs> Down the street, Tierra Santa, huh? You don't know Steve at all, though? No, it's a big place, Tierra Santa. Big enough, yeah. All right, cool. What's your name? Shana. Shana. Oh, I like that. Shana and Steve, that's nice. <laughs> Everybody in Tierra Santa has the name of a porn star, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shana, that sounds, you know. It's glamorous is all I'm saying, Shana. You know what I mean? I'd watch Steve and Shana, you know what I mean? I would watch that. Who's in that? Steve and Shana. Yeah. These two people sound like they can go to town. Sweet Jesus. Steve and Shana. Who are you here with tonight, Shana? My friend. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> Girls? Hey, how you doing? Just three girls together? Cool, all right. No dudes tonight? Do you leave your boyfriends at home? In Tierra Santa? You left them in Tierra Santa? You left them in Mira Mesa, huh? Okay, cool. Is that another Asian joke? Because there's been a lot of them tonight. I'm not happy about it. We've made so many Asian jokes tonight that this man appeared, the most Asian-looking man I've ever seen in my life. How are you making Asian jokes? Were they talking about you? Yeah? 
Jesus Christ, man. The kid from the Goonies grew up and got scary. <laughs> you were terrifying. Don't worry, bro. You're on my side, all right? And I will reunite you with your dad over here. We'll reunite you. We'll reunite you. We'll reunite you. You're Hawaiian. Hawaiian? Did I get that right? Mongolian. Mongolian. Serious? Check it again. What is it? I would love to see your driver's license, actually. I've never had an, you know, I would love to see your driver's license, actually. Holy shit, man. Just a fucking, like, 70s Padres hat. I would love to see your driver's license, Steve. Steve's like, funny story, I uh, had my license suspended for 10 years. Uh, that's why I walked over here from Tierra Sam. Steve ain't allowed to drive no more. His goddamn stingy liquor laws in San Diego. I said, listen, officer, I'm not drunk, okay? I was in the films. I don't know if you recognize me. Here, maybe this will help. If I go sideways and just sort of get a sweat going, you'll be able to recognize me. Uh, that's my driver's license. Uh, my name's Steve, although it does say Buford Kirkland on the license. Thing. <laughs> Was that you're gonna need a thumbprint? That's not how I do my IDs. Here, I, I toe print it. Toe print, Steve. There you go. I've been over in England, man. The cops over there are fucking great. They're so funny. They have no guns. It's hilarious. They're adorable. Right? I come back here, it's just like, bam, holy shit. I got guns on them in Starbucks. Like a sawed-off shotgun and a bazooka just ordering a venti in front of me. I'm like, oh, fuck, we're playing for keeps. It's true, man. They've just got those spray cans over there in England. They just freshen up when there's been violence. Oh, it stinks in here. You feel like you can get away as an American? I'm like, are you kidding me? I just walk up, flip their hat off and stuff. And they go chasing it. They get all scared. Over here, the cops have guns, you know? And in the South, like, they're fat, which says, I'm not running after you. You're getting shot. That's what's happening. Huh? You ever been down there, Mongolian beef? Dude, I'm not kidding. You look like the last guy you fight in Mortal Kombat. I'm serious. You look awesome. <laughs> like, remember when it would go up the mountain? That was the guy at the top. Right before Goro. After Goro. <laughs> All the nerds in the crowd are like, All right! Holy shit! <laughs> Look at this cocky guy right now. I like you, man. Right in the front, right? You know, you got the Volcom. Where are you from? PV or something? Where are you? Are you from San Clemente? Where the fuck is that? I forget. My, my, my San Diego job. Oh, is it up here, man? Thank you. <laughs> It's on the roof. Some <laughs> of people live up on the roof. And they better keep it the fuck down. <laughs> keep it down, San Clemente. All right, we told you, you can have one in tonight, and that's it. <laughs> San Clemente, bro, you surf? You riding the waves? What do you do, man? What's your name, first of all? What is it? Blaze? Skyler? Oh, Alex. All right, quick. Quick on that. We still have not got your name yet, which makes you even more fascinating. I hope I never find your name out. I just want you to visit me in my dreams. What? I meant that in a totally gay way. I didn't... Oh my God. All right, what was your name again? Alex? Alex, cool, man. You look, uh, how old are you? All right, you're looking good, Alex. I like it. You surf? You do anything like that? See, I miss guys like you, Alex, because like, you're very San Diego. Do you know what I'm saying? And I just look at you, and it gives me a warm feeling. They don't have people like you over in England. You know what I mean? Look at your teeth. They're blinding me right now. They're just like... Sample many, bro. <laughs> Grew up in Encinitas. Would you ride a longboard over here, Alex? <laughs> girlfriend, Alex? Is your girlfriend? Wife! Married at 35, huh, Alex? Cashed it in, huh? I was married once. Yeah, I was. I was married to a Russian woman, and uh, she was a very lovely man. And, uh, she was very lovely. How long have you guys been married, Alex? 
Nine years. Eight years. Eight years. <laughs> Feels longer, huh, bud? Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. I like that. You're smiling, but you're furious. You're like, it's like nine years. <laughs> Eight years. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's okay. You're a fucking asshole. That's all right. Has to keep up appearances. I know that smiley, you're in trouble face. I get it all the time. Ash, great. Where'd you guys meet? Anybody already asked you that? You guys met at school? In college? What were you studying, Alex? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say it like I should have known. <laughs> you don't recognize me, bro? That's why I sat in the front. Showing off. <laughs> business, huh? Are you in business now? What's the business? Dude, if you tell me you started Kirkland, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> Dude, you could be swimming in free jeans for the rest of your life. So this is gonna be crazy, man. Holy shit. The only thing that could make me more happy than you getting free jeans all night is if this guy comes home with me and watches Big Trouble in Little Chat. <laughs> Because I just realized he's in the fucking movie. <laughs> Sir, I don't know what restaurant you are, but I'd be happy. I bet the food is delicious. What is the owner restaurant? No? But his food is delicious. He just looks like he can cook. Yeah. Nice. What the, how do you know him? He's your boyfriend? Nice. You guys not married? Cool. Look at Alex. Fuck. <laughs> play the field. <laughs> How long have you guys been going out? <laughs> See that? Smart. Look at Alex nose. Dude, what did that feel like? You gotta be careful, man. Like a fireball shooting out of <laughs> Nice. How long you guys been going out? Four years? Beautiful. Love it. What's his favorite dish to cook? What does he make you? I'm dying to figure it out, yes. Filipino? Really? Filipino? And not even he's wearing flops, Steve. Even the Filipino guy whose national shoe is flip-flops. We want a pair of closed toes. You understand it is law in the Philippines? They inspect that shit. Back me up on this, right? By the way, in case anyone was wondering, this dude, Lupia. That's what it is. It makes Lupia. Oh, man. Ah, he's a good man. Hell yeah, dude. Philippines. I haven't been over to Asia yet. No. I was, I've been in England. I went over to uh, various parts of Europe. It's good. Uh, I had a couple of rough shows. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but our standing in the world isn't that fucking great right now. And I am about the most American sounding person there is. As soon as I would hit the stage, I might as well have come on in like United Flag stilts with fireworks shooting out of my fucking ass. <laughs> Holding a bald eagle as I soared onto the stage. You goddamn right. I didn't do any of this sorry bullshit. Hey, sorry. Fuck you. You're welcome. That's what I would say to him. I hope there's video that it I'm serious, man. The first couple times I went on stage over there, I was like, Ugh. and after that, I got on like a pair of John Wayne's hairy ball sacks. Just ripping it. Laying into him. I did a show in Scotland. I get on stage. First thing out of my mouth, the guy calls me a faggot. Yeah. 400 Scottish people. Every single dude in the room looked like a character from World of Warcraft. Just like, what up? It was a great heckle, actually. He goes, someone get this faggot a taxi, which I think is great. That means that a cat would have to pull up and be like, I'm here for a faggot. But, uh, yeah, I'm very homophobic. They want to make sure I get home okay. Shouldn't stereotype. Actually, I met this dude from Scotland. Big old beard, huge guy, fucking stereotype. Bagpipes McDougal, this guy, right? And I'm talking to him, he's like, oh, my boyfriend's pissing me off. And I'm just like, did not see that shit coming. Are you serious? This dude's boyfriend looks anything like him. I just imagine them both on a mountaintop somewhere in that Braveheart makeup, right? It's like, William! 
Do you want me to blow you? Alright. You never did any films like that, did you, Steve? No? You wouldn't go that way, would you, Steve? Steve ain't butt fucking. I ain't butt fucking. But if I am, I'm doing the fucking. Steve does not catch. Delivers. Give it up for that guy, man. This is a new waiter guy. Waiter guy. Lots changed since I used to be here. You know, you're okay with me being this close, right? Dude, do me a favor. At various points in the show, attack me. <laughs> Keep me on my toes, okay? Like the Pink Panther. I just want you to jump out and just attack me, all right? <laughs> Alex, don't try to stop him, okay? You've done enough damage tonight. Nine years. How dare you? Because you guys look really young, man. Really do. Yeah. Getting married young. I'm not married. I have a new girlfriend. Uh, I went over to England, got one, like a fur trapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> brought one back, hit her over the back of the head, brought her back, like some beaver pelts. That's the wrong animal. Sorry about that. <laughs> the old people in the room, who still says beaver? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I go over to my house in La Jolla, get some beaver, smoke some grass. What do you guys say? <laughs> La Jolla, man. I used to live in Ramona. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Ramona is, uh, it goes like this, right? Lakeside is uh, made up of all the people that were too lazy to get up the mountain, okay? <laughs> Ramona is made up of all the people that got there, haven't started having sex with their family members. That's why they all look like that. And then actually, if you go further than that, you get Julian, and it's just one man sitting on a rock. Big dog, just, just so just one crazy old man. That's how they make the pies. Here comes an apple crumble. You know what I love about that is there were people from Julian in the back that were like, he's talking about us. And then as that got worse, they were like, hey, hey, hey. How does he know our secret pie ingredient? Are you guys from Julian in the back? Are you? No. That whole uh, group back there? No? no. Where are you from? La Mesa. Oh, La Mesa, okay. <laughs> I've been in La Mesa for a little bit as well. There's not really much in La Mesa. <laughs> there really isn't, is there? What? <laughs> Dude, nothing is gonna bring me more joy than the way that dude just said Fud Ruckers. Fud Ruckers. Like, really aggressive. Fud Ruckers. <laughs> we all wanna go out and eat tonight. Fud Ruckers. Sounds like a slur for gay people the way you said it, you know that? Fucking went to Hillcrest, man. Bunch of bud ruckers hanging around. Bud ruckers walking up and down the street. They got a bud ruckers in the Mesa? Do you like bud ruckers, sir? You hate bud ruckers. Fuck bud ruckers. Say that three times fast. No, I'm serious. Please say it three times fast right now, sir. All right, he made it to one. He's like, the shit is fucking hard, dude. <laughs> Fuck butt ruckers. Rock butt suckers. Scud buzz knuckers. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You guys can stay for the second show. I don't even want the second show to come in. You guys are great, man. What's going on in this section of the room? How are you guys doing? Um... You guys look like you accidentally came in here and thought it was that Christian shop across the street. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> You're like, hey, hang on a second, what is this? 
This is a very well-behaved looking table right here. Although now that I look, it does start to get a little bit more demonic as it goes back. Ending with that dude in the hat back there, sitting in the dark with it pulled down, just, oh my God. Just PB roofies written all over that guy back there. What's your story, bud? You look, honestly, dude, does this, you, you look great, man, but you do look like you're the camp counselor for like a Christian camp. <laughs> It's like, hey kids, <laughs> well, we're gonna go on a hike tonight. Do a little Bible study after work. You look great. Is this your boyfriend? Yeah? Cool, man. What's your name? Travis. Okay, nice. Like it. Travis. Sounds like can you won't be going to Bud Ruckers anytime so Dude hates Bud Ruckers anyway. You look more like a cheesecake factory kind of guy. If I'm on it. You went to Cheesecake Factory last night? Nice. All right, sir. Don't worry about it. We got some good ones over here. Turn to these fud ruckers. Cheesecake Factory last night. What do you do, Travis? Personal trainer. All right. Personal trainer. Like physically or uh, do you, uh, is it like a new service where people just pray for muscles and <laughs> just believe, man. Save money, no gym membership. Personal trainer, huh? Where? Where do you do it? Let's 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 uh, sell it right now. El Cajon. El Cajon? All right. What's the what's the gym? Crunch. Crunch. Who's working out at Crunch in El Cajon? Everybody after tonight. <laughs> nice, man. We'll get you down to some crunch, right? So how often do you do that? Every day. Every single day you're in the gym, man? Damn near. Damn near. <laughs> Except for Sundays. It's the Lord's Day. On that day, we go outside and pick the Fuddruckers of our choice. <laughs> Got the bill there, Steve? You got the bill, bud? You gonna be all right on that? Excellent. What are you doing the rest of the night, Steve? Go home, watch some of your old VHSs? Did you see this here? It was a tough move, right? Because you gotta slide it in. Now, Tiffany was a little bit dry that day, so... What to... Oh, excuse me! Excuse me, some of us have to earn a living. We can't all have fake jobs like this kid working at Crunch. Jesus, last thing I'm gonna do is let a Mormon show me how to do bench press. No offense, you might not be a Mormon, I don't know. You could be a runaway Mormon, is that the deal? Ran into his house today, tore off his clip-on tie. I've got something to tell you, Dad. Mom, 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 mom. I'm getting out of here. I'm living in Tierra Santa. Steve's gonna teach me everything he knows. Honey, where are your shoes? I don't wear shoes anymore, Mom. They're called flip-flops. Everybody wore them in the 70s, and we're bringing them back. Get out of here, boy. You go down to Bud Rokers. What? What are we talking about? What are we talking about, Travis? Damn, I like you, Travis. I didn't think I could like anybody more than Steve. But I like you. I fear you. That goes without saying. I am afraid of you. You look like you'd sell me a fucking uh, gremlin and tell me not to get it wet. <laughs> I, I think if you gave me 10 minutes, I could come up with 500 things this guy looks like. No, I'm not gonna do that though, but uh, in, in all seriousness, I love you in the film Three Ninjas. So. All right. Do we ever find out where you're from? What's your name? Tango. His name is Tango? But he just told me Mike. Dude, you just got... Tango is a nickname? I am fascinated as to how you would have gotten that nickname. How did a Filipino man get the nickname Tango? 
Is your last name? Part of your last name? How long is your last name? <laughs> Tango is the shortened version of your last name. That's awesome. That is amazing. What's your full last name? Tangone? What is it? Tangone? Tangone? Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> First time you said that to someone, they're like, we're gonna have a short now. <laughs> Were you born here? Did you come up from the Philippines? Born here. Okay, cool. Tangona. Tangona. I did that right now. Nah, yeah, fuck it. I'll give it to her. This guy's ready to pay his bill. This guy took a real beating up top, didn't he? What's that all about? He's red. Oh, I'll just look. Put it on Tango Nuts. Tango Nuts. You're telling me you wouldn't buy a beer called Tango Nuts? I don't know. If it was his face on the pole. Fuck yeah, give me some of that. Cool, man. Oh, it's good to have everybody. Do you know this whole table? Where, how do you know these people? The all friends? And family? Cool. Like, uh, so I was correct. Mormon? It's a big family, right? Jesus, huh? Friends and family. Okay, alright, sorry. Further from what? Mormon? You're Satanist then? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Funny enough, we worship the devil. <laughs> we could not be any further from it. Oh man, so good to be back here. So you guys are gonna get wasted tonight then, is that correct? We're here for her birthday. Whose birthday? Her. You know what? I am astounded that you went this long talking to me without making that fact known. Good for you. No. Right? Because you, so often, I was at a, a restaurant the other night and some girl goes like this. She has the audacity to go like this. She goes, um, yeah, she orders and then she goes, oh, by the way, it's my birthday. That's a certain type of person, isn't it? Like the waiter's gonna be like, holy shit. Are you fucking serious? Guys, everyone drop what you're doing. It's this woman's birthday. Don't you love those people that think that they can just say it's their birthday with no proof whatsoever and get free shit? You ever do that, right? You go somewhere and you just go tell them it's your birthday. They'll give you anything you want. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's falling for that. You know what I mean? I'll tell you who is falling for that. You got it. Bud Ruckers. You go into Bud Ruckers, you just lie to those assholes. That's why I hate them. They're stupid. Bud fucking Ruckers. Bud Wreckers. Wrecking that Bud. Alright, we're about to close it up, Tango Nuts. You ready? <laughs> fucking Tango Nuts. How long you had that beard, man? Do Filipino babies, are they born with that? I'm serious, you know? They look good in them. What do you do? What do you do, Tango Nuts? What do you do? You're in insurance? You sell insurance? You don't sell insurance, you're in insurance. This guy's a fucking bodyguard, hell yeah. This guy's a fucking hitman, I knew it. Holy shit, dude. You just wear a little suit, right? Throw your fucking hat at him? Good for you, buddy. Dude, we should start keeping score. I think I'm at 10. I've almost made as many references to this guy's face as Steve's made porn films. The number is 27, by the way. 27 solid gold. No, I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't actually get what you actually did. I work for a company. You do? Healthcare? Yeah. What company would that be? Like insurance? Yep, okay. <laughs> like there's two of them? 
You said it like it was fucking Kaiser Soze. Take it easy. <laughs> Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> fucking Kevin Spacey's just walking and then all of a sudden. Dude, that's funny. My girlfriend, right? This chick that I met over in England. There's two ways you can say. I can either call her my girlfriend or this chick I met over there in England. <laughs> Depending on how she's behaving that day, it determines how she gets referred to. Hey, lady. So over there in England, right? Now, this is crazy. You guys are going to laugh at this. Steve, you're going to absolutely, you, your mustache might fall off. This is going to be so funny. going to fall off, go into that candle, catch on fire. The whole place is going to stink like patchouli. Listen to this. Listen to this. Over in England, they have free health care. They can get health care. Is that crazy or what? I give that country three more months tops before they go. So she comes over here, right? And she was here for about a week. She just left and she got sick. And it was funny. She was like, oh, I'm, I'm sick. I need to go to the hospital. I was like, oh, we don't fucking do that here. Baby. Okay? Shut the doors, duct tape the windows. You're going to sweat this shit out, all right? This is America. Yeah. I'd like to own a house one day. I don't need you fucking that up because you got the sniffles, all right? Let's tough it out. Locked her in there and didn't go back for another two weeks. I don't know what happened to her, Steve. I don't know. I assume she's all right. I gotta go back, man. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I'm going back in two weeks, man. I'm going back over there. Yeah, I know. So we better. Huh? Why? Why, Steve? Sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do. It reminds me of one of the films you were in, Steve. You know the one I'm talking about? Let me refresh your memory. DJ, get a little of that funky porn music, please. DJ. <laughs> In his defense, why would he just have funky porn music all in hand? The dim the lights? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a Tango Nuts production. <laughs> Buford Kirkland <laughs> is Fud Ruckers. <laughs> Here's your skillet, ladies. <laughs> You're not wearing any shoes. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm not. That's because Steve don't pull out. Steve don't make a mess. Steve puts it all in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Steve, 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 because I got drunk Got in the car Because I don't give a fuck Driving around Drunk as shit I went up to Mira Mesa And I met this chick And now uh, She is my girl Keeps my toes Nice and curly I don't know if she liked me Well I had a hunch 
How do I keep in shape while well, I work out at Crunch? Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> My name is Roxy.